As we've already seen, digitalization is becoming more and more important, especially for our safety. What are you doing for our safety? Our vehicles have a lot of sensors that make them safer and support drivers. Digitalization allows us to transfer the data they collect to the cloud, where we evaluate it and share information with other vehicles about any hazards that have been identified. Where do you get the data from? BMW has a fleet of over 700,000 vehicles. We extract the data from those and use them for the service. Okay, but you don't have just your own fleet. There are plenty more sources of information as well. We're enhancing this function with a company called HERE, the largest mapping service for automotive maps. HERE also has data from other manufacturers and from weather radars, so we can offer the best possible service. Okay, so I'll always know what's ahead because someone else has already hit the black ice, for instance. That's right. Our aim is to warn you well in advance that there's a patch of black ice coming up so you can slow down and stay safe. Perfect. Sounds great. Thank you very much. Saskia and digitalization. What's the connection here? Or rather, what do all these car parts have to do with digitalization? Well, we're here in additive manufacturing, 3D printing. Here at BMW, 3D printing is a digital production method because all you need for it is the digital data set. You don't need to make special tools anymore. So you can focus on aspects like load. This i8 Roadster component, for instance, is lighter and stiffer because of that. But you can also customize parts, like this trim panel for the Mini. These panels can have any name written on them and are really easy to fit and remove, or to make with different textures or writing on them. Great. Well, let's see how it's fitted or taken out. It looks really easy. That's right. All you have to do is slide the hook into the slit on the side. The panels are easy to put in and take out, and BMW's patent and lock system makes it very easy to exchange. But how would you get my name onto there? How can you really personalize the part? We've specially developed a web customizer for that, which you can find at yours-customize.mini. You just put in the name or the icon you want, or change the texture of the product. This looks like playing, fun and excitement, and I'm really dying to know what you can experience here. Yes, playing is not a bad description. We develop game development technology from the world of consumer games to produce an integral customer experience, a complete customer journey, everything that a customer experiences before, during and after their drive, to depict as a prototype. That means it's in development. And when will it be ready? It's a prototype vehicle that we're establishing now for all vehicles that are coming out in the next years at BMW and that we'll keep developing further. Can I try it out now? You absolutely have to, that's why you're here. You should also have this customer experience. Oh, wow, okay. You're gone. I'm gone. I'm not there because <laughs> I've got white hands. <laughs> Gloves, probably. You're at the airport, I hope. Yes, all on my own. You're all on your own in your car at the airport. And the drive is just starting now? Nice. The radio isn't there in reality. The iDrive control is there. It's still on zero, though. That was a speed bump. Okay. Amazing. I told you, we create the complete experience here. Yeah, it's really brilliant fun. What's the next stage? Yes, we're working at making the experience even better. Of course, we're using it intensively to answer the questions of the future better. Catchphrase being autonomous driving, self-driving. What must a BMW interior look like to make both possible? That sounds really exciting. I'm looking forward to it. I'll try it out myself. Many, many thanks. Come on by. Yes, I will. I'm next. Everyone is talking about it. 5G even faster than 4G, even faster than LTE. And it's a big thing here at BMW as well. So what's it got to do with BMW? 
Sure, 5G matters to us as well. It's the future standard, so it will be fundamental to the premium connected mobility of the future. Compared with current 4G networks, for instance, it has far more capacity, by a factor of up to 1,000. So BMW will be able to realize a wide range of additional functions. Our customers will be able to write emails or watch videos in high quality while the car drives itself. And it's all made possible by the forthcoming 5G standard. So while you're on the road you can have fun, do some work, do all those things and enjoy a real premium experience. That's exactly right. It's exactly what we're doing. What else will it offer? Well, besides offering far more capacity, it will offer far greater network reliability, which means we can support safety-relevant information to enhance the comfort of our customers even more. Great, sounds really exciting. I'm looking forward to it. First of all, I need a self-driving car so that I can experience all of that. <laughs> this is about artificial intelligence, which most of us have heard of from science fiction films. But things never end well there. How are they going here? Our main interest is in how artificial intelligence can support us. We're not just looking at how it works for autonomous driving. Far more, we see it as a key technology for the BMW Group as a whole. For instance, in production it can help with data analysis and process optimization, and so improve quality. Artificial intelligence isn't something that will be relevant for the BMW Group in 50 years or the distant future. It's already being used right now. One example is in current series development, where we're improving comfort for Active Cruise Control, ACC. Here we're using machine learning to be smoother and faster at predicting lane changes. What does artificial intelligence of the future look like? This example is a situation where we were able to use AI to make one particular driving situation more comfortable. Of course, there are countless other situations we can integrate into autonomous driving and elsewhere with the help of machine learning. Great! So there's plenty for us to look forward to, and it's better than science fiction films. Connectivity is becoming more and more important. What's the situation on that with you at this booth? BMW Group vehicles are all connected via an integrated SIM card. This SIM and the telecoms network allow you to communicate with the IT system landscape behind our connected vehicle functions and digital services. That's what you can see here. The landscape is modular with three levels. The first is the vehicle level. This is where we regulate communications with vehicles where data traffic travels. Then there's the application level, where the IT systems work to deliver the services you see in your car. And on the third level, this landscape is open to external partners whose services we can then make available in our cars. The important point for us is availability. These services must always work for the vehicle functions to work. And then there's the secure handling of data at BMW, which is particularly important. Yes, that's important. Great. So it's secure, but how fast is this? This looks vast. I could be somewhere here in South Africa, the IT backend is somewhere else, and I want to Google something quickly, from query to response, in the car, we're talking about milliseconds. It depends on the service, but under a second. That's incredible. When I first came in here, I saw this graphic. I'm wondering what the message behind it is. What is it exactly? 
This screen shows traffic flow data that our connected BMWs across Europe sent to our back end on a single day. It shows the traffic flow. The data is all anonymous, but you can see very nicely how the entire European road network can be mapped perfectly in just one day. That's amazing. I just wonder how we can even collate and evaluate that much data. It involves a huge number of systems, not just one system, but a whole landscape of them, all working in perfect sync to make something like this possible. So, as you can see, connectivity is a major topic, super fast and super secure.